Hey everyone, it's me Suchita. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the Bloom taxonomy. Many of you send me the messages that the interviewer are asking for uh, how you plan your subject lesson as per the Bloom taxonomy and uh, how you implement Bloom taxonomy in your lesson plan or in your class. So th those are all questions we are going to cover in this video. I if you must have done your beard, so you must have done few chapters. And you read the bloom taxonomy thoroughly now today we will learn how to implement how to add bloom taxonomy in your lesson plan so without any delay let's uh, start today's video if you're new to the channel do consider subscribing and press the bell icon so that you will not miss any new upcoming video and i want to tell you one thing see it's 8 21 in uae it's i hope it's visible in the camera it's 8 21 a.m in the morning and these are the national break holidays are going on in uae that they are enjoying and they are celebrating their 50th national day here in dubai but still what i'm doing instead of enjoying my holidays i'm making a videos for you guys this is uh, the month i'm planning to bring at least 20 to 30 videos that's a plan let's see how much i'm able to fulfill so give me a thumbs up for my effort and let's start today's video see if i'll talk about the bloom taxonomy why interviewer or why it is necessary to include the bloom taxonomy in your lesson plan the first thing is to develop the level of high order thinking hot so that is uh, really required especially for the high achiever of the class so include that plus to uh, like you know make the student think critically so that is the main purpose we uh, need to introduce the bloom taxonomy in your lesson plan now if we i'll talk about the bloom taxonomy and i will see i will try to include a picture with the pyramid here bloom taxonomy is divided into six parts and that's how we need to divide our lesson plan these are the six uh, components I'm going to talk about we need to include these six component in our lesson plan and in this ratio only when you will see the pyramid you can see at the top we have create then evaluate then analyze then apply then understand and then remember when you will see the pyramid you can see at the down here pura remember is like taking a much space right so this much we need to include much in your lesson plan this part is a major uh, thing then understand is like little less than that then apply so we need to follow uh, follow the pyramid in the same way and now we'll let's focus on the terms what you need to do for example if i'll talk about the remember so in the remember you need to include recall or connect with the previous knowledge so how you start your lesson you start your lesson with the uh, recall like you remember that what we have studied in the last class right Waha pe padha tha. so you make a connection between the previous knowledge hai na? so that's how you connect connect them so that's how we start so this should be take a major part so that they able to connect with the previous knowledge and whatever they already know you start from there so that is remember so that covers the major portion you need to focus much on that after that come to the understanding the second level so in the understanding is the part where the teacher will explain so we are coming to the lesson uh, plan second part then the teacher explaining you are explaining the content so yeah you go, you're going to use the terminology like exclaim explain describe discuss identify select so those all uh, you are going to use so that will come the that part of bloom taxonomy right so when you are going to give a demo the interviewer really check are you using all the terminology of the bloom taxonomy in your lesson right so when they will ask you a question even in the interview you must know that these are the six component you need to include and in this ratio in your lesson plan and if you have one topic you explain it pehle maine jo hai recall kiya i have connected the lesson plan with the previous knowledge so that is a remember part of the bloom taxonomy like that you explain right now we are coming to the third part apply apply is now you taught the lesson now you are implementing the knowledge which you have learned in the lesson to solving a numerical uh, doing a back exercise of the question uh, back exercise question of the textbook or maybe 
any real life situation you are implementing that formula or doing a question so that come in the application part apply after that is analyze now analyze means draw connection among the ideas for example in today's class you taught two things right so you will compare the two things or maybe you taught one thing so you compare the one thing with the uh, other term which you taught already in maybe teen or child lesson pehle you have taught something and now you are comparing that that term with the, the that old particular term right so you make a comparison so in this part you are going to use the terminology like differentiate compare or experiment connect distinguish so these all are going to come in the analyze part after that you taught the lesson right you started with the recall you explain then you made connection you make some activities after that you are going to check how much they learn so that come under evaluation evaluate and this you are going to use the terminology like argue support judge defend decision making so these all will come under evaluation you are going to make them do some questions related to exam or you make them do answer few things or reasoning things which they have learned in this uh, lesson today and now they are going to answer back to you after that is create so this is a major part this is like you know something you uh, really need to push the lesson to a next level high order thinking will come here there are few low, low achiever in the class right but there are certain high achiever students also in your class so what you need to do you need to give a research work or any project you ask them to come up with something you will say this we learn in the class but this i want you to go and check in the uh, google and find out and research about this and come up with maybe the real life application of that particular topic which you taught today so ye sab jo hai that will come under the create where the students is making an effort to do something to think critically so that's how will uh, develop so these all are the part of bloom taxonomy so if the interviewer is asking how you include these things in your lesson plan you see smartly these are the six components of bloom taxonomy and these are the portion they are present they are like a pyramid and the less is create more is uh, remember so as per the ratio i need to include all of them in your in my lesson plan and for example they will ask today you taught this in the demo so how you included that in bloom taxonomy in this so you will say i started my lesson with the recall activity which they have learned before in their previous classes or maybe like junior classes so recall i connected the lesson or maybe you take a real life example and you connect that with the particular topic and then you did evaluation in your lesson then you given them some research work you did some activities to check the knowledge so you include these things in your lesson you tell one one part where you did all of these so that's how you can answer or justify your question plus when you are going to give a demo use the exact terminology like there is a terminology recall for remember for understand explain apply you are using execute implementation solve so use the exact terminology knowledge so that they will understand you have a particular knowledge of bloom taxonomy and you are using that in your lesson so i hope i am able to convey how you can use the bloom taxonomy in your lesson if you still have doubt do write down the comment box and i'm happy and i love to answer your question that's all for today's video i hope you really like the video give me a thumbs up for my effort and do mention kiss me like you know what all are the areas you want me to make the videos and where you guys are struggling as a teacher and i'm happy to do that that is my job and that's why i started this channel so do pour your feedback every day with the every video and that's how i will evolve this channel and that's how i'm able to help you in a better way That's all for today. Have a nice day. Keep growing. Keep learning. Believe me, I can. If I can do, you definitely can do it. I'm an average teacher, average student, and I did achieve something which I'm really proud of. And I'm sure you will also do it someday. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.